Hello everyone, it's that time again. <laughs> can hardly quite believe it's come around so quick, but obviously um, I think the box has arrived a little bit earlier just because of it being Christmas a week today. Wow. <laughs> um, so obviously the Christmas post um, means that you have to send things out a little bit earlier than you normally would. Um, but obviously it's not a problem. I'm always excited to receive this box. It's my absolute favourite. Um, and for those of you who are regulars, you will know that that is the natural beauty box. So I have it just here. So this is the box, very kind of, you know, simple and unassuming from the outside. Um, they tend to let the contents do the talking rather than having a big fancy box, which again, I'm fine with. I'm paying for the contents at the end of the day, not, not the box itself. Um, but for those of you who aren't familiar with this box, they are a monthly subscription that provide natural beauty products. They're cruelty free, often vegan, often organic. Um, and sometimes they do plastic free uh, boxes as well. Um, I'll go through all of the, the price points and, and the different types of boxes and things that you can get from them. Towards the end of the video, I like to get straight in there and see what's inside. Um, I haven't seen uh, too many spoilers. I think I've seen one or two uh, this month. So there's a few things in there that are gonna be a surprise to me. And I do like to make sure um, that I try and keep this as authentic as possible when I'm doing these videos. So I try not to look beforehand, uh, which is always difficult, uh, particularly when the box comes and you have to wait a day or two to, to film the unboxing. It's just kind of sitting there looking at you all tempting. Um, but I do that just to make sure that the reactions is as authentic as possible. So obviously with this being a December edition, this is the Noel Christmas edition and there's just a little message here which says wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from Emma who is the lady behind the natural beauty box and then on the back there's descriptions of the products that are inside so I'll just kind of keep that just to the side so I can refer to that as I'm going through and there's also a couple of um, leaflets I guess uh, for a couple of the brands that are inside uh, so what I'll do is I'll kind of put them to one side as well um, but when I get to the brand to the product um, of that brand I will bring the leaflet up as well so I'm just going to kind of peel the tissue back it's all very well covered as <laughs> covered over so you can see kind of flashes of a couple of the products but you can't necessarily see what they are uh, which adds a little bit to the mystery. So what we're going to go with first, I'm kind of drawn to this yellow. So I'm going to go with this. Okay, so this is a brand I've not actually tried before, which is always nice. Um, this is Skin Bakery and it's Beauty Infused Solid Serum. And this is worth $24.99. So this is a non-greasy lightweight serum that does not clog pores. So it's suitable for all skin types, including acne and blemish prone skin. It leaves skin silky smooth whilst soothing, healing and improving the appearance and elasticity. So I'm just opening up the box so I can have a look at the tub inside. So here's the little um, tub. Let's see if I can get a texture. So nice, smooth, creamy texture there. I do like a good balm. Um, although I haven't tried a serum in balm form before, so that's a new one for me. Let's see what it, if it has a smell. Oh, yeah, that smells really nice, actually. Really kind of uh, uplifting. I'm just going to see if it says what's in here. Uh, hibiscus, calendula, frankincense, that's what I can smell. Um, borage, maracuja rose hip and sea buckthorn so there's quite a lot of goodness in there but yeah the frankincense is what i can smell um and it's vegan and cruelty free of course just gonna see if it says anything else um yes it's got um anti-aging properties such as vitamin c um, and then anti-inflammatory and antioxidant abilities as well so a lot of good stuff and with it being a balm i, I tend to find with balms because of the texture you don't need to use a lot all at once because it tends to kind of spread quite well. Um, so this should last quite a long time. Does it say how the size of it? So it's a 30 milliliter tub. Um, 
that should that should last me a fair while because you usually only need like a pea sized amount if that um when it comes to things like this because the formulas are usually quite rich you don't tend to need a lot of it um to get the desired effect so very much looking forward to giving this a try so that's the first item now there's a little black box here okay so this is one of the brands that the there is a leaflet for so this is maggie ann uh, and here's the little leaflet and this is a um nail polish so on the back there is just give you a little bit of information about maggie ann so they are the best cruelty free nail polish brand in the uk um from the 2021 health beauty and wellness awards hosted by looks life vegan cruelty free the toxins have been removed obviously not tested on animals due to the cruelty free status winner of best nail polish with the natural health international beauty awards they are certified by peta and they give a professional finish they're safe to use in pregnancy ultra glossy and long lasting so there's quite a lot of accolades there and it just gives you a little idea of some of the shades that you can get uh, from them so here's the little box this is quick to apply and easy to remove up to seven days of color and shine so this is worth £10.98 and this is one of there were three shades that you could have got um, so this is one of their new autumn winter shades for this year so these are multi-award winning toxin free vegan and cruelty free nail polish so the three shades were there was like a sparkly black color and then there were two different shades of brown so there was kind of like a deep brown and then more of a kind of chocolatey brown so let's have a look and see which one I've got okay so I have the sparkly black one which is actually the one that I wanted so I'm very happy with that and um, now as you can probably tell I do get my nails done um professionally by a, a friend of mine however I can use this on my toes so all is definitely not lost and I do like to try out new quality free beauty products with my skincare I tend to have kind of got converted pretty much to all natural now um but with my makeup a lot of my makeup is still not as natural as I would like it to be it's all cruelty free but it's not all natural um so obviously things like this it's really useful to get to try them out um and then if I like them it looks like there's a couple of beautiful shades I'm liking the look of this purple here um so could potentially purchase a few more uh, and definitely use them on my toes so that is item number two so let's have a look um uh, i'm kind of drawn to this pink now what's this oh a massive tub okay another brand that i've not really tried before so it's dia i think that's how it's pronounced relaxing bath salts and these are worth eight pounds so these are sweet and floral with a hint of citrus, a calming, blissful soak to pamper your skin and mind, delicately balanced to promote deep relaxation with minimal loaded salt infused with pure botanics to keep your skin soft and nourished. So they're handmade, vegan, sustainable and natural. Um, so let's see, so Himalayan salt, Epsom salts, lavender, vetiver, Lang Lang, Sandalwood and Sweet Orange. I love Sandalwood. I um, just kind of want to draw attention to that gorgeous pattern on the top there as well. So you can hear them rattling about in there. So I don't want to tip it too much because I don't want them to fall out. Um, but obviously there's a nice little mixture there. Oh, wow. That's really, that smell immediately hits you. Definitely smell the lavender. Um, I've kind of I know I've mentioned this a few times before um lavender for me is a bit hit and miss I'm not always a fan of the scent of it just mainly because I'm not a fan of florally type scents uh due to having quite bad hay fever so a lot of the time so, so some of the floral scents can kind of set off uh my my allergies particularly in, in the summer which obviously isn't at the minute it's it's mid-december um but sometimes if it's not kind of an overpowering scent of lavender or if it's not the main fragrance or if it's mixed with a couple of other things um as as is the case with this then it's not too bad um that is it's quite a strong smell initially um but you can kind of smell a few other things as well as the lavender so it's not 
as bad if that makes sense it probably doesn't it makes sense in my head um and with this kind of thing as well with it being in bath salts I think that'd be really really nice to use in the evening after you've maybe had a long day you can just pop it a little bit into your bath and use it to kind of help to help you to relax unwind and get yourself ready to go to bed obviously lavender is known for its calming properties and its sleep inducing properties as well um and the tub is huge as well so you 250 grams you'll definitely get a fair few baths out of this or as i've mentioned before i don't actually have a bath here in the flat where i live um it's just a shower but i like to use them for foot soaks and things as well so you know definitely the same with the nail polish even though i get my nails done all is not lost because i can use it on my feet as well <laughs> so my feet are going to get a nice pamper with the two products that i've just shown you but yeah this is item number three so what have we got now i can see something red so let's go for that oh, okay brand i'm very familiar with um and very happy to see them again uh, grace and heartland uh, and this is their merry and bright face mask this is worth 10 pounds and this contains kaolin clay cranberry and orange peel powders to draw out impurities add nourishment and leave skin with a healthy glow um so yeah a festive treat with cranberry orange and nutmeg powder to dry improve impurities and brighten the skin so this just got some information uh, on how to use it how to apply it but it's a powder mask so from my experience with powder masks you mix it with a bit of water to form like a paste uh, and then you apply it to your skin um, and then wash it off usually either just with warm water or with like a muslin cloth um, so I tend to kind of use the muslin cloth and then quickly give my face a splash afterwards just to kind of get any remaining bits off that have been a little bit stubborn um, but love Grace and Heartland have had a few of their products now and they were very very kind a few weeks ago to, to send me um some of their best-selling products as well in a little gift pack which was wonderful and um thank you very much to them for that um still working my way through all of the products but they're all absolutely gorgeous so i'm expecting the same from this and i'm sure it will live up to those expectations um but yeah another brand very happy to see them again and i love a face mask who doesn't um so excited to give this a go so that's item number four now let's see there's another item i just need to dig around there it is okay so this is the other brand that has the leaflet i've tried these before as well so again always happy to see them again but it's senestia skincare so they've sent a little um merry christmas we hope you will enjoy our blood orange lip balm and then there's some more information about it on the back um so yeah blood orange lip balm is what it is and this is worth five pounds so this has healing calendula to soothe and heal chapped lips which is obviously a thing in winter lip balm for me is an absolute essential any time of year but particularly in the winter they just tend to get so dry obviously going from being outside and freezing cold to coming inside where there's the central heating on your skin and, and your lips and your hair and just everything is exposed to varying temperatures um and obviously going from kind of the, the cold wet outside to coming into the dry heat from the um central heat and inside it can just wreak havoc on your skin um, and your hair so lip balm for me definitely um essential particularly in the winter months so i'm just going to have a look through um the information on this leaflet to see if there's anything else um that hasn't already been mentioned um, so yeah, made with the calendula oil, blood orange, organic shea butter and berry wax, handmade in small batches. Um, and then it just gives you instructions for how to use it. Um, and their labels are also made from biodegradable recycled paper. So again, nice and eco-friendly. So, and then there's just some information about their social media. Um, I think I follow them on Instagram actually. I will check that. If I don't, I will go and follow them after I've finished filming this video. Uh, but yeah, that is the lip balm. Let's open it out. Yeah, so it definitely smells like uh, blood orange. Now, <laughs> orange for me 
is not my favourite thing, I will admit. Um, I don't like the taste, the flavour of orange. Not particularly a big fan of the smell of it either. However, that isn't too overpowering. And I do like citrusy smells. It's just orange that I'm not a massive fan of. Never really have been. Um, but I've got, I'm using currently, I think it's a another brand, but it's um, a deodorant, a deodorant balm uh, that's orange as well. Um, and it's really nice. I really like it. So I'm always willing to kind of put that kind of thing aside if the product itself is good, if that makes sense. Uh, and based on previous things that I've tried from um, Senesia, their products are great. So I'm kind of willing to put aside my slight dislike for the flavour of orange and the smell of orange if the lip balm does exactly what it says it does, which I'm sure it will. But that is the final item. So let's just pop these leaflets off to the side now. So in relation to the pricing structure, I know I go through this every time, um, but there's a couple of new things that I need to mention. Um, so I thought I'd do this again. So monthly rolling subscription, which is what I have, is £24.95 per month. You can also prepay for three months, which is £71.10, or for six months, which is £138. You can purchase just a one-off box. So if you want to maybe give it a try before you commit to a subscription, or you've seen a particular box that you really like the look of, um, you know, because of the products that are inside it, or because there's a particular product that you really want to try, um, you can purchase just that box without committing to a subscription, and that will cost you £25.95. You can also subscribe bi-monthly, so you'd receive a box every other month. And again, you just pay £24.95 every two months. As I mentioned at the start of the video, they do a plastic free edit every quarter. So if you just want to subscribe specifically to those plastic free editions, you can do that. And again, it's just £24.95 every quarter that you would pay. Um, they also do lucky dip boxes. These aren't always in stock on the website. You do have to be really quick. Uh, they tend to sell out pretty quickly, but they just contain a mixture, usually three or four products adding up to around £25 um, that have been featured in past boxes um, and they are £12.95. Now they've added something to their website very recently. I think at the minute it is just temporary, but hopefully if, it, if it's a success, if it goes down well, it may be something that they look to make permanent. Uh, but they've brought in pick and mix boxes. So basically you can choose three items from a selection um, for £15 or if you wanted an extra item, so four items, you would pay £20 and you get to just pick what items you want in your box, um, which I know a few different boxes offer this option and it does seem to be quite successful with them. So hopefully it will be the same here uh, and they will make it a more permanent addition because it's great as well for if you've been subscribed to them for a while, like I have, and there's been particular items that you really liked, um, you can maybe get a, an extra one or two and stock up using the pick and mix option. So all of those items, all of those options, should I say, come with free delivery in the UK. So let's have a quick recap. So let me grab this. So there was the Senestia Skincare Blood Orange Lip Balm. The Grace and Heartland Merry and Bright Face Mask Powder. The Dear Wellness Relaxing Bath Salts. Magian Nail Polish. So I got the sparkly black shade, which is called Rebecca. And the Skin Bakery Beauty Infused Solid Serum. So the total value for the box this month is £55. You are getting double the amount um, in terms of value. So obviously it costs £55 uh, retail price, but you're only paying £24.95. So you can't really complain, can you? Um, as, I, as I said before, this is my favourite box. I've been subscribing to it for nearly three years in fact i think it's over three years um and it's never disappointed me once um which is some achievement because uh some of the boxes that are more well known um i've kind of dipped in and out of in the past because 
boxes have just not really inspired me um, but every month they seem to knock it out of the park uh, so let me just close this and there we go and there's the box once again um, with the little logo on the front there so as always let me know if you have received your box too what your favorite product is or if you're not subscribed to it let me know uh, what product you are most interested in finding out more about i'll be posting this review uh, the review for this box on my blog as always and there'll be little posts and things on instagram as there always is as well but thank you all very much for watching. I think this will be my last video before Christmas. So I just want to wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, whatever it is that you celebrate at this time of year. Um, and I hope to see you all again very soon. Bye.